Hello everyone. Today we will cover one of the topic in FTP and we will see how we can download program sources from AS400 server to our local drive. We will go through this FTP example and uh, we will see how it it's actually working. In this FTP example we are downloading all the program sources from uh, remote system AS400 system to our local drive. So here you can see there is a notepad here and uh, there is set of command in this notepad. So uh, I have written a set of command in text file and uh, I have saved it with dot .bat extension. Here you can uh, see it so that it will be a self executable batch file. Now when we execute this uh, whatever command that we have written here will get executed that we will uh, uh, see after some time how it's getting executed and uh, so uh, we will just go through one by one command uh, actually I have already demonstrated all the commands uh, in my previous tutorial on FTP commands and uh, CMD commands so uh, there I have elaborated all the commands in detail so you can go through all these things all those commands and uh, that will help you to understand this example better so i will just uh, uh, proceed with the uh, executing this batch file and then we will see what's ac actually happening here here the first command add that echo of it what actually it will do uh, when you are opening the command prompt and uh, you are executing any command in that case the echo will not be off so if it is not off then what will happen it will uh, show you what are the commands that uh, you have typed on command prompt and then it will display you what is the output of that command so like here if uh, uh, you have uh, uh, written at the echo of so what it will uh, do it will uh, it will not display all the commands here only the output will be displayed like here the output of this command is hi i robo so it will uh, display you uh, only high irobo command uh, commands output here only high robo irobo will be displayed on the screen similarly in another command here uh, we are setting the parameter and we are asking the user to enter the system name that he wants to connect so here this set slash p param one equal to this will not be displayed since this is part of the command only the output of this command will be displayed and the output of this command will be please enter the system you want to connect uh, so i will just execute the batch file so will you, you will see what's actually uh, this echo of is doing here so you can see only the output is displayed hi i robo please enter the system name you want to connect so this is the main purpose of echo off so i will just enter the system name here that i want to connect and then it will ask you for uh, uh, the second parameter that is the second command will be executed here it will ask you for username and i am giving the username here and then it will ask you for password so i am just uh, giving here the password and then it will ask you for library name uh, just give the library name here and then it will ask you for source physical file name so I'm giving the source physical file name here now once you do this it will come to the next command so here um, this all commands will be executed in batch mode so it won't be displayed since we are changing the drive here and then we are making the directory inside this drive and uh, then we are uh, making the newly created directory as a current directory here inside drive d uh, we are creating one directory or folder with the name that uh, param1 variable is containing and here we can say param1 will contain uh, the system name that is pub1.rzks.d so the new folder that have been created inside d drive is nothing but pub1.rzks.d 
after that we are making this as a current directory with the cd command so this uh, folder will be uh, as uh, work as a current uh, working directory after that we are again making another folder that param4 uh, the value of which param4 is containing and param4 will have the value of irova1 so irova1 folder will be created inside this system folder and again inside irova1 we are going to create qrpz lsrc by using these two commands and finally qrpz lsrc will be the current working directory so whatever operation that we are going to do next like we are going to download the data from remote system all downloaded data will be stored in this current working library qrpz lsrc if you want to check out all the folders that have been created inside d drive you can just go here and check what are the folders that have been created here so here you can see inside d drive pub1.rzks.d have been created inside this irbo one have been created and inside our one qrpz lsrc have been created so this is how we have made a hierarchy of folders and made qrpz lsrc as the current working directory now when you press enter it will execute the next command what it will do it will just connect to the drive to the remote system and then it will fetch all the data from remote system and it will write here just you can see it. but it will be in dot mbr extension now if you want to rename it you will just execute the last command of renaming it it will create one uh, uh, text file also inside this that is ftp src you can check it here uh, this is the thing that is getting executed open and then this so you will better understand it if i show you what was the command that it actually executing okay so this is ftp src so how this ftp src has been created you can see in the next command here this is echo open percentile param1 obviously this is the system name so whatever you are echoing on the screen that will be returned to ftp src dot txt and then the second command again user and this is a param2 value that is irobo that will also be written here so uh, this is what is happening here whatever uh, command that we are echoing here is being written to ftp src.txt and finally this ftp src.txt is being used in ftp command and uh, this is the ftp command i will just show you okay so this is the ftp command so it will uh, just replace uh, it will just execute whatever is inside this ftp src.txt because when we are using ftp s it means s will uh, link to a text file and whatever commands that resides in this text file will be executed one by one so the same thing happened it open the system and it will it enter the user and id and password it changed the mode to ASC ascii and then and the name format to one after that uh, we have made a prompt here see pram prompt uh, this command is used to suppress the prompt or invoke the prompt so generally when you are entering the command and if prompt is not suppressed it will ask you if you want to uh, create this member or you want to download this member into a particular directory or not but here since we have suppressed it it won't ask you anything it will simply download all the files and it will write it to the current working directory that was that is what actually was happening there when where we are seeing that all the files are getting downloaded so this is how this ftp is working then we will quit and then we will rename a start uh, member to a star.txt 
so here if we go to our current working directory we can see here whatever previously it was coming as dot mbr now it is as dot txt file so we have we have renamed it to dot txt so you can see so this is how we can uh, download all the program sources uh, from a particular library of as one system to our local drive now if you want to see more examples on uh, FTP you can uh, go to my website go for sfunded.com and then you can go to the topic of FTP so here you can uh, see more examples have been given like how we can transfer the data from one system to another or uh, there are so many examples that you can find here so this is uh, what we have for the day thanks to everyone